So about, gosh, this is pretty bad. I would say almost a year ago, I bought this box and it was $100. It was on the Facebook marketplace and it was for various graphics cards, unknown conditions. So just did the right thing and just said, you know what? Here's $100. I'll take the gamble. Yeah, it's, it's a gamble. Now, we all know buying used graphics cards or use anything as far as electronics is a gamble. It might work. It might not work. It might work and then just die like a couple hours or a couple of days later. But sometimes you could get a really good deal out of it. And there are things you can do to kind of make sure everything works. But when you buy a box like this for 100 bucks, um, you assume all the risk. This box could be a box of, um, I don't know, HD 6450s and uh, you know X 1600s. I mean, I'm talking about like 20 year old graphics cards, if not 15 to 20 year old graphics cards. So, or we could have a box full of some good stuff. So now, even though I've had it sitting for a year, I've actually went through it. Like, well, I didn't really go through it. I just opened it up one day and just kind of glanced at what I had. And in fact, one of the graphics cards that was in there was an RTX 2070 that I actually went ahead and flip for and this was back when they were going for a little higher it was about 200 or 250 i can't remember what it was but i mean i made my money back on that one so i kind of want to see the rest of these cards what they are um if they work i know there was a 2070 that i flipped and i took out a, a different graphics card that i used for another build so i know i've gotten two good graphics cards out of it the other stuff's just kind of been sitting in the box and if you guys have been watching the videos you know it's just been sitting on there and just collecting dust and mostly been used for storage and well, just to prop things up. So let's see what we got. So I guess let's start with this. Um, mm, of course, you know, because it has the cool cartoon graphics. And yeah, we know this is an old graphics card. This one is a 6600 GS 256 DDR3. Mm, retro build stuff. This one, let's see. X1600 Pro. And these are... Ethernet and the whole Wi-Fi card, so not terrible. But I'll definitely test these two cards just to at least make sure that they fire up. Whatever doesn't work, I'm just gonna trash. So yeah. Uh let's see. A 560 Ti, so that adds to my collection. I had, there was actually a computer that I found just junked on the side of the road. And actually looking at that video, people don't believe me that I can find stuff like that. It just depends on where you live, folks. So I have two of those 560 Ti's now. I have three. So yeah, cool graphics card. Quadro M4000, that's actually a pretty cool find. This is about an $80 graphics card, 80 to 120. I had one that I got on a Z440, so sold that one just to recoup the cost of the Z440, but now I got one, so that's cool. 1650, not bad, not bad. Mm, what is this one this is a gts 250 with one gig of ddr3 man how graphics cards have changed so so far we got one two decent ones another 560 ti great nice score a 1080 that's about what 100 dollars graphics card right over here Ah, sweet. So we're up to three good ones out of a bunch of bad ones. This is a 8800 GTS. Any specs on it? No, nah, I don't know much about it, but that's another one for the collection. I'm just stacking them up. It's fine. It's fine. This is a Strix, probably a 1080 maybe. Nope, 1070, still pretty good. It's another $100 graphics card. This one I know is gonna be nothing fancy. This is an MSI R4350, yeah, an R4350. Ah, oh, sweet, I already know what this is. This is the uh, HP, yep, 1660 Super, so I have one already that I use for another build, and now I got another one. These 1660 Supers from Dell, I like these. They're just, they're small, and they work pretty good. Very nice. So I think I got about 12 graphics cards in total, including that 2070. So that's 13 graphics card. Out of 13, five are actually pretty good. 
the 2070 was the best deal of them all and um, i should have recorded that but that was one of those quick things and i probably should have gone through these sooner because i probably could have used these because a lot of the times what i've been doing lately is just buying used complete and tired bills that people are just getting rid of and just parting out that way so yeah this box has mostly been used for um storage and just kind of propping up the camera every now and then we're gonna pop them in use heaven benchmark just to kind of stress test a little bit um as long as it passed the heaven benchmark stress test i know it's good and whatever's not good we'll just display it on the wall somewhere you know the graveyard so let's get started now there is one thing i did forget to mention and that's what are you looking for when you're testing these graphics cards number one does it post does it give you a screen number two does it artifact with the whole squiggly wiggly lines and mist colors and number three does it work under load? That's why we run the test, uh, the benchmarks. You run heaven, if it starts heating up and it starts getting really weird and wonky, it could be that it needs fresh thermal paste, it's dirty, or it could just be that the card is faulty and it just can't handle the loads. In which some cases you can downclock the graphics card and get a little more life out of it, but that's pretty much what you're looking for to kind of see if you have a graphics card that's something that you can use, flip, or you know whatever purpose you need for. So things to consider. All right, so this one, I think, what is it? I said the 1600 Pro. Let's try it out. No HDMI, folks. This is a must. DVI to HDMI. Definitely need one of these if you're going to be tinkering with some older hardware. I really didn't expect it to give me a screen. It works kind of sort of this is windows 11 i don't have drivers for it which i mean that's to be expected you're not gonna have drivers for this whole graphic card but it fires up it seems to kind of do what it wants to do um running the microsoft display drivers basic display drivers so i mean no big deal on that but for the most part that one works maybe for some type of retro build or old one but i'll just keep it around let's move on to the next one this one is the gts nope this one's the 6600 gs so um, at this point, it's mostly with these old ones just to see if they give me an image. If they give me an image, that's, you know, that's cool. If not, then I'm just going to toss them. But the ATI one gives me an image, so we'll keep that. And if this doesn't do anything, then this one will meet its fate. The wall. All right, several minutes, receipts, and this one is dead. So we got one dead one. All right, so now this one... The R4350, I believe that's what it is. I'm really hoping this one works because it has the HDMI port and this would be a good test graphics card. So, you know, just one to kind of make sure that motherboard CPU is not dead. So let's pop this one in. Sweet, this one works. Well, this little guy is a bummer. You install the drivers, it doesn't work. I tried it on the older rig and the same thing, so junk. But based upon my experience, typically in the simple fact that if you install the drivers and they just start crashing like that, you can do a, sometimes a BIOS update might do that, might fix that issue. Other times you might get lucky with reflowing and, I mean, this is like a $2 graphics card, I'm sure. So we're going to toss this in the junk pile. So our next contender, a 560 Ti from EVGA. So we got two six pins, which I'm pretty sure I have the connectors for that. DVI. And this one that I've never seen. Comment down below. Let me know what that is, guys. Appreciate it. But anyways, um, I think I'm going to do this one and just kind of leave it at that. And then the other ones, I'll just do it off camera. And if we run into anything good, I'll definitely uh, post and let you guys know what we got on camera. Well, let's pop it in and see if it works. Sweet. That's a good start. So let's try to see if we can install some drivers. Maybe run a benchmark. Maybe it might work with Windows 11. We'll see. 560 Ti for the win. Running the heaven, 1080p low eight, low settings, 100 frames per second. Not sure how credible that is. And our temperatures are starting to creep up to about 62 degrees Celsius. So another winner. And considering that I have another one, I might tinker with the whole SLI thing. We'll see. I don't know. So let's get started on these. And if uh, anything interesting pops up, then I'll record it. So we're a couple of cards in. And so far, obviously, the 1070 seems to work which is good. The 1080 works, which that's even more awesome. But unfortunately, the 1650, or no, this is the 1660 Super. There's something wrong with that HDMI port where it's not sitting properly. It's, you know, got some wiggle thing going on. So 
um, the display and the DVI work, which, you know, we could also use that, but unfortunate about the HDMI and surprisingly this 8800 GTS works. Of course, we're not going to have Windows 11 drivers, which is to be expected. And yeah, that's where we're at. So let me finish throwing in a couple more of these graphics cards and we're going to wrap this up. So this is something I was surprised about. We got an EVGA. It's the GeForce 8800 GTS and she's old, requires a six pin. And I was able to get drivers installed for Windows 11. Took a while. It was not easy. But long story short, 720p. We got like three, four frames per second. I mean, this old girl, she's a fighter. You know, she's, she's trying to hold on. She's like telling us, I want to live. So I'm going to keep her around, maybe find her for an old retro project. But I mean, still pretty cool, I think, for as old as this card is. So most of the cards seem to work. No issues. We were able to kind of get them started. And yeah, I mean, I was impressed. I was able to run a benchmark with this uh, 8800 GTS. This one, uh, if we can't forget, did this one work? Yeah, the GTS 250, that one worked too. We were able to run a benchmark, but more impressed with this guy over here. You know, this one, she's a champion. Of course, our 560 Ti's, you know, they worked they installed. We were able to use them and I got two of them in that box deal this and it's funny because it's the same exact ones that i have in the trash pc that was thrown out so now i have four 560 ti's the only thing um the 1650 super the hdmi port is jacked up so i don't know maybe i'll resolder our new one or just use this one for a testing one for the garage but everything else seems to work i didn't check no thermal paste or you know repaste or anything just kind of popped it in and run it and as we put it in a build then you know we'll clean it up like these if i decide to do something with them we'll clean them i know the 1070 to 1080 the m4000 1650 um we'll have to repaste those i'm not looking forward to this one because i actually did a separate video on repasting a m4000 and taking it apart guys it's a pain in the butt it's not fun but We'll go through these and clean them up. Now, these fellas right over here, um, they're junk. They won't survive. The X1600, after a while, I kind of went back and um, I have a Windows 7 PC just kind of lying around. Went back, tested them, and yeah. This one was still, every time you saw the drivers, this one crashes. This one won't even give you a post. And then this one started glitching and artifacting. So these are going to the junk wall where they could be hung up in memory. And that is their fate. So $100, it's a gamble. Like I said, anytime you go with the Facebook Marketplace or even eBay, there's always a gamble. But my rule of thumb is, number one, just pop it in the computer, test it, make sure it works. And then once you can confirm that it works and it works solid and it's stable, take it apart, clean it, thermal paste, and you should have a good graphics card. I like using Heaven Benchmark. Another one is Furmark. But Heaven seems to work for me. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see what else I can find.